I need to see that on the camera. I heard that girl beat you up. Hey, 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 listen to the dogs, bro. You gotta calm down. Fuck your partner up. Down. I ain't no bitch. Why are you out you do look like a Wait, bitch, though. Yeah, you look like a hoe, too, bitch. You are the hoe. The hoe. Yeah. Swing on me. Peace, bitch. That's going to the place. So I'm handing it to you. What's Put it down. What? Put it down on the yeah. ground. On the ground. Oh, you're a fuck. And you can there give you me the one that you've got in your purse as well. Oh, good one. And you can't hand that to it? Or what? Yeah. Huh? Put down. What, you can't you hand them? Place. You can put them on oh, the ground. Your butt. Look at this Karen. Look at this Karen What's Facebook. What's wrong with you? I was handing them to you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Fuck yeah, you. Scum. I'll, I'll take Absolutely. Place. Get it again. I ain't been on social media in three years. You can record me all you want because this is what the fuck a real footage is. Just get out. I'm not getting out, dog. You think I'm going to get out? I'm not. You look get stupid. Out. You're cutting the scene. I don't give a scene. fuck, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You guys must both be gay together. You guys are fucking idiots. You know that? I could really come back and ask if I wanted to. I could come back and rob you, dumbass. Kid. Do it. Do you it. You know that? You know that? It ain't my money. I don't give a fuck. Stop writing his dick. He's the manager, bro. Get the fuck to work. You I'm a manager too. Do. I'm a manager too. So what, bitch? You know what's funny, bitch? How? Now you want to be all ballsy, bitch. Stupid motherfucker, you faggot ass bitch. You are retarded as hell, lady. You need to leave. I'm not eating. I told you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my fucking food order. You're not going to eat. I'm going to leave. Don't fucking so bitch at me, bitch. What, bitch? Come outside, bitch. Look, you even hide behind the guy, you stupid faggot. All right, throw it at me. I don't care. I'll just throw something see? back. You see what I mean? Throw something. Stupid, dumbass, fucking Give us ass. one second, sorry. You an idiot. Don't order no food in here. Get the fuck out. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. That's Why a saw. You're going to get arrested. What? Get out. You just... Look, he's so worried about throwing things. Hi, welcome to TikTok. How may I help you? Go ahead, huh? Huh? Anything else, Karen? Huh? Anything else, Miss Karen? Come on. Thank you. You have a very nice day now. Get off! Get off of my property. It's not your get, property. It's Walmart property. You cannot. No, he's freaking. Yeah, get off. This is my property. Get off of me. I know. Get off of my property. I'm not on your property. That's this is my property. property. The cart is not your property. Get off of my shit. Yeah. Hey, no. I know. I want to see your receipt. Yeah. No, get off of me. I want to see your receipt. Get off of me. I don't have to show you shit. You, you accusing me of stealing? I, Look, I'm, your ask, I'm asking for your receipt. No one's accusing I, you of anything. Then I don't have to prove. If you're not accusing me of stealing, then you can't. Yeah, yes, I can. You can't hold me here. I can see your receipt. You do, you can ask for my receipt. No, sir, I don't have. You're right. Do you, I don't have to hold you here. No, no, I don't have to. That's that's you're the right. problem. You're right. I don't have to hold you here, but I no. can keep the pro, the merchant. I can you're, see you're, you're, the receipt. Huh? I it does. Yeah, he can ask, but he can't hold me here. Okay, look. Here's my receipt. Thank you. That's all I want to say. And I'm gonna sue the shit out of you. you do I'm gonna that. sue the shit out of him, so it's all you good. You do that. You talk to congressman. They, I didn't sign a contract. Okay, so get off my ass. Get off. Go away! Satan, you are Satan. Vaccines kill people and are killing people all over the world. Karen wants a discount at the liquor store. You know, just for having everyone here. She doesn't want to leave the store. The you don't care about shit. You only care about the money. No. So you want to get a gun and you want to shoot me. About one dollar. So learn your fucking lesson. And I go back in this country fucking 400 years. I go back in this country 
400 years. Yeah, my people came here to fucking destroy, destroy the native peoples. At least I can admit it. At least I can admit it. But you can't admit that you couldn't give me a fucking dollar credit. Because you're cheap assholes. And you're weak men. Uh, so you're fucking fun. weak men. You're weak men. Uh, yeah. And I will mentor all the people I know. Oh, because Brian is just like a person. One dollar credit. You want to break the gun? Three, four, seven, six, five, nine, seven, one, five, five. God. <laughs> yeah, three, four, seven, six, five, nine, seven, oh, one, God. five, five. Yeah, you go ahead. I don't care. Have them come. Yeah. I've been to the ninth precinct. I've been to the ninth precinct. Yeah, let me talk to the officer at the ninth precinct. I'm, I'd love to talk to him. I've been there. I've been Pick to the low life undercovers look how he's filming me you see that they set they set me up this one's a real real dirt bag this Go one too home, they set me up to Go freak out and then they film me you see him you see him the little low life undercovers they allow themselves to be horrific heinous tortures horrific hey i've seen oh. it i've seen you undercovers you camera. endure unbelievable tortures for Go a couple away. of bucks the lowest of the low desperados You'll let, allow yourselves to be heinous tortures. I have seen it. Unbelievable tortures for, for a couple of dollars. Lois, come on earth. Look how he's filming me. You see that? They just set me up to get upset, then they film it. Here you go. Here you go. Dirtbag number one, low life. Dirtbag number two, low life. You see that? Why on earth would he be filming me? It was just a random encounter with a stranger saying, screw you in the street and keep walking. Why is he filming me? Because he's an undercover. I will find your name, date of birth, and address. I will know your social security number. I will know your marital status. I will know your mother's maiden name. I will know your preferred pronouns. I will know your zodiac sign. I will know the date of your last period. I will know your Myers-Briggs type. I will know your Hogwarts house. I will know your rice purity test score. He did push me. Fuck you. Yeah. He did push me. We have cameras. Yeah, you think you want to record here? Yes, of course. Can you get out? Get out. Get out. 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 Can you call the cops? Can Sebastian, Sebastian call, the call the cops? Call the cops, because she's she's you playing games. Name, you have her last name. You yeah, have her you number. You have her whole license. You're embarrassing, you're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing your, your kid. kid. Like, come on, bro. How do you think your kid feels? Like, right now? being an adult. Come on, dog. Like, this is. You got me out here. You're threatening he me on my. Yeah, we have cameras. Door. Where did he push you? Because I'm the assistant manager. He just pushed me. Oh, he did it. He did it. He pushed me out the door. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you did not open the door. That's fine. That's fine. What I'm asking you. And you got in my face. I got in your face. Yes, you did. Okay, that's fine. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to get out. I'm not asking you. I would. I'm not asking you. It's not a question. What? I'm telling you. You're gonna stop talking to me like that. I'm telling you. If you want to talk to me done nothing but lie to me since I got here. All right, no. The price well, went up every single you. freaking time. What I'm trying to tell I sat you here, we sat here for three me, hours. No. I've been here respectful with you. You I have not been here. respectful to me. I'm telling you to get out. I'm, I'm You're not, trying I'm to be respectful and then you just By telling me prices and what I got paid. I got paid. Yes, you have to pay your bill. I told phone companies work, man. I'm sorry, boss. Listen, I've been here since 2019. I deserve way better. Cause I got in front of you, cause you was dro driving fucking ten miles per hour down to forty. Yeah, I was going right. Slow, yeah, yeah, she right. was going so for what? Handle it. So you had to speed on by. So you couldn't what, handle that me going. You? you couldn't handle me going the speed limit. Girl, you was going ten. Oh my god. <laughs> Your ass was going ten. The speed limit is forty, and I was doing for it. Oh sure. Okay. Right. You know how to drive so well. You mm -hmm. know the, the speed. You were not going the speed limit. You passed me going 60 on a I 40 didn't. or a 35. I didn't. I didn't. Go ahead, Puss in Boots. Go on home, child. <laughs> Go ahead, Puss in Boots.
Psycho Karen ran over a grocery store for getting kicked. Welcome back to actual interactions that I've had with customers, Mexican food edition. We also sell pizza, but it's mostly just Mexican food. Uh, disclaimer for context, this woman came in, she called She called ahead of time and ordered two burritos to go. She came in, she picked them up, she paid for them, we had a totally normal interaction, she showed me to have a nice day, and then she walked out the door, right? And then she came back in five minutes later, and that's when this encounter happened. Hey, welcome back, what can I do for you? Yeah, I just ordered burritos from you guys, and you put utensils in my bag. Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to put utensils in your bag. I can grab you some right now if you want. No, no, you did put utensils in my bag, and that's the problem. I ordered burritos. Who eats burritos with a knife and fork? Why would you put utensils in my bag? I really don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we're required for every takeout order to put utensils in the bag, regardless of what the customer gets. Um, but I do understand the confusion. I can take them back from you if you want. We can just throw them away back here so you don't have to deal with them. No. I want a refund. This is absolutely insulting. Who eats a burrito with a knife and fork? Why would you think I would want to eat a burrito with a knife and fork? I just, I want my money back. I don't understand why you would do this to me, and it, I'm insulted. Give me my money back now. I don't think I can get you a refund because we put utensils in your bag like we're supposed to, but I can go grab a manager to, to see what, what they can do for you if you'd like. No, you know what? I bet whatever manager works here is incompetent as well. I don't want to deal with them. I don't want anything. I just want to let you know that what you did was wrong and you should never do it to anyone again. I'm leaving. I will never be coming back. Okay, bye. I- did you hear any of that? Yeah, dude, what the fuck was that? She was upset because we put utensils in her bag with her burrito, and she was offended that I was insinuating that she would eat a burrito with a knife and fork. I really don't understand. Yeah, that was telling you about your stuff. Aren't you, you late for work? Need to park and you here. don't need to park on the yellow line either. She doesn't need to park here. I don't know where Look, she she's on the yellow she's on the yellow line. I'm on the yellow line. Slim, go over there. What do you see? Both of us parked on the yellow line. But because she lives here. Exactly. You're not supposed to park here either, but because okay, she lives Mom, there... Don't park here. Don't, don't park, park up against don't, my Please car. stay six feet away, coronavirus. You are a Karen. Back away! She spit in my face! I you did, saw that! I did not! I got you on camera! I, I got you on camera! I did not I got, spit in your you face! Did. I got you! You're a bitch! Don't, don't touch just my face! You she just stole my charger and won't give it back. She's saying that I have to prove that it's mine. And she's calling the cops on me right now. That they're gonna beat me. She said we're gonna beat her. Yeah, in the central park. She's lying. You know that's illegal now, right? They're getting so close to me and they're already touching me. That's not your property. No, but it's not mine. It's not yours either. It's not yours. She. You have to prove it. I'm not saying I'm not gonna give it to you. You have to prove that this is yours. You know, what are you talking I, about? Uh, Ma'am, they don't let me. There are two girls and they're surrounding me and they're threatening me that they're gonna beat me or something. Don't do that. Or please. something. You're lying. 
a lot here. That's on one seventy something. That's in front of the queues of the information. Are you racist they don't or something? Let me to go. Yes, I am. I prefer my race to any race. What's you your problem? Oh, that's, that's what it's trying to do. Girl, go ahead. Yes, Hurry up. <laughs> Y'all, she just stole my portable charge and told me she's racist and saying that we're going to beat her and kill her and stuff. Take my property, give it back. I'm gonna throw it away, but maybe something you haven't paid for it. Your daddy paid for it, or your sister paid for it. Baby, I you have a very good me. job. What are you Do talking not about? Discuss with me. What? Do not discuss with me. Who are you? Girl, if you go viral trying to be stupid, that's on you. I promise. <laughs> You have a picture of it? I sure do. I got a video of me with it. Right <laughs> you have to go to them too. I'm about to, I'm up whenever they request it. listening to music with my girlfriend and a TikTok couple Karens came up to me. Alright, so... Kiss my fucking TikTok ass if all I care. I'm just saying you couldn't come up to me respectfully, right. sir. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I would have left. It's no problem. I would have left. fucking respectful. Yeah, I will be. Both of you. You could have told me. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. You know they would just tell me to leave, right? <laughs> yeah. Why did you just fucking have a half an hour ago? Yeah. No one did. Yeah. Well, my door is shut and my window's closed? Well, yeah, why don't you turn down your fucking volume, you dumb shit? Alright, buddy, go back to bed. Bedtime. Make her kiss it, bitch.
Mm-hmm. That couldn't be me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I just said. Mm-hmm. What I just said. Now, if the bitch come over here, I'm going to slap it. Don't do that. You're asking me for ID. Run your cameras back, no. Officer Brown. My name is Officer Brooks. My yep. badge number is 748. So I am asking you for your identification specifically because you committed a crime. I committed a crime. Yes. Wow. Yeah, Definitely yeah. run these cameras back because Hold now on. I'm getting. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Walk you right just accused me of Walk a right crime. Right. So you telling me I committed a crime, and I'm telling you to run the cameras okay. back. So if I committed a crime, and I've been in this store literally not even 10 minutes, and now you telling me. So I'm being accused and black of stealing because something's going on with their machine from this individual officer not asking me but literally telling me i stole something all right guys so i have y'all food i'm sure y'all hungry so who had the mac and cheese did either of you guys had a burger and a mac and cheese i mean that's clearly our food but where's our waitress oh she'll probably be here in a minute then why isn't she giving us our food i'm sure she'll be here any minute i just helped run the food out so who had the mac and cheese well i don't think that this is right at all our server has her own two hands i'm sorry she's just trying to do her job i'm trying to do my job i'm literally supposed to be a food runner so i'm just helping her run out the food but we want our waitress like i said she'll be here any minute so i'm really sorry she's just trying to do her job i'm really trying to do my job so mac and cheese so you're telling me our waitress can't even run her own food to her own tables that's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, if she can't even do this simple task and she doesn't deserve a job, let alone a tip. You're not gonna tip her because I'm doing my job? I mean, she clearly ain't doing her, so. Check it out, ridiculous. If you come in for clothes, you need to wear a mask. I'll wear a lanyard to say that I'm exempt. I'm exempt. I'm not, it's not that I'm not. Well, why didn't you say that? I am, I told him. I'm exempt. exempt. They told him from the start, it was me I'm that said exempt. I didn't want to wear one. Right, well, I'm sorry, sir. I'd really request, respectfully, that you don't come into the courtroom if you are refusing to wear a I, I, I don't, I've got no objection at all. I, don't, I didn't want to enter the courtroom. I just wanted to go, I was just going to sit in the public okay. foyer with Eddie. Sorry, sir, that's actually not going to happen. So it's not a public court? I'm sorry, sir, that's not going to happen. It's not a public court? If you're saying that you're exempt... I am exempt. So you're not allowed, you're not allowed in a court building without a face mask? That's you told me that it was updated last night. I checked the policy and the last update was 30th of, 30th it was of September. from the Majesty's Court and Tribunal Services. It is a requirement that anybody coming into the court building has to wear a face mask, including at all times on the concourse, unless they are exempt. I am exempt. Well, the policy is not... Why isn't the policy on the website? And therefore, I will get to an exemption lanyard. 
and I wish you have to wear an exemption lanyard to tell every other person in that court that I have a disability. I'm sorry, sir, if that is unfortunately the way that it is because we're right, well, I, mean, I want that in writing. This well, is an absolute I'm, I'm disgusting gonna, gonna thing, guys. This is an absolute civil rights violation and right here. Not right now. Request. A request can be refused. Can it's be not a lawful order. order. Sorry, but we are refusing. Look at this guy's absolute disgusting behaviour by the court service here in Leeds. Absolute Thuggish behaviour. Forcing you to wear a face mask. You have to wear a face mask, apparently. Absolutely ridiculous, guys. I will take the lanyard under your desk. Yeah, it's for, forced, absolutely forced, guys. I want to, I want to, I want your name. Yes, Absolutely ridiculous, guys. I want to put a complaint to... No problem at all, no problem at all. Can we get on with it then, please? We can, you'd like to follow me? Absolute scum, guys, look at that. I see you in a rolling mower, dear. Big slap head over there. Check out the... Yeah. That is really, really, really noisy. Yeah, it's a leaf blower. It's going to be pretty loud. I live on Hawaii Court. Uh -huh. I was cooking dinner inside my house. Yeah. And I heard that machine right there. That's why I'm standing here right now. Okay. I can hear that on Hawaii Court inside my house cooking dinner. Okay. And I don't have those headphones. Those silencers. Okay. Nobody around here has those except okay. you. And you're making a lot of noise. Well, a lot of noise. Well, you're just that, gonna have to live that with that machine are. right there. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> Go ahead. Feel free to call. The listen, listen, guy. You're, the you're, you're interfering with my life. I'm standing here cooking dinner, and I hear that. I don't like it. Listen, it's it's pleasure, silence. Man. It's not my problem. Yes, it is your problem. Call the cops, dude. Oh. What? Why are you so belligerent about that? I'm cleaning my yard. That machine is way too powerful. Okay. If I, I live about two blocks away. If it was too powerful, they you don't care. Wouldn't you don't. The, the problem is you don't care that I walked over here two blocks. I'm 80 years old, and I can hear that machine, and I don't that's, like it. That's good. You have good hearing. You've been here before. At least I'm not doing it at night, am I? You can stay within the law. I am irritating everybody around you. That's an annoying ordinance, dude. Get over it. So there's this new thing that I've been doing where if I'm at work and a customer is being disrespectful and rude to me, I literally murder them with kindness. You know why? Because it pisses them off even more than it would if you were giving them the same energy. So I'm standing in an aisle looking for something on the shelf and this woman and her 12 children come barreling into the aisle like fast as hell. And I'm like, oh shit. So I back up as much as I can so they have a room to walk by because I'm nice. Her kids are running all over the aisle, up and down, screaming, yelling, whatever. I like kids. I'm not bothered by them. But two of them stop in front of exactly where I was looking, so I'm standing there waiting. They start playing with the stuff on the shelves, and I'm not about to tell some random woman's kids to get out of my way, so I'm just standing there waiting patiently, didn't say anything to like the mom because she was down at the end of the aisle looking for something. So then, when she's done grabbing what she needed to, she came back to collect her children and looks at me and goes, Oh, were you waiting? And I said, Yeah, it's no big deal. Like, it's fine. And she's like, Oh, okay, well, I'm going to get them out of your way now. And I was like, Okay, cool. Like, it's no big deal. She sends these two small children back with the rest of her children, and I start doing my job. I thought she walked away too, but she didn't. She stands there and goes, You're welcome. And I, like, looked at her, didn't respond. I knew she was trying to, like, start something because this has happened so many times before. If the customer thinks they're entitled to a thank you or something for something that does not deserve a thank you, it happens all the time. So I ignore her and I keep doing what I'm doing and she's getting closer and closer to me. You're welcome. You're welcome. 
you're welcome. And I'm like, finally, I like stop. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't actually say that. I was just really shook that this woman was getting in my bubble for some reason. So I looked at her and I said, thank you so much for being a good mother and watching what your kids are doing. She goes, all you needed to do was say thank you the first time. Her face was like really red because she was so pressed for some reason. And I saw this as an opportunity. So I look this woman in the eyes and I go, oh, silly me, I'm sorry. But your blush looks amazing, by the way. I love how rosy it makes your cheeks look. And she goes, I'm not wearing makeup. I don't look like that. And like pointed at me and I was just like, <laughs> what? It took everything in me not to laugh in this woman's face. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. You're too beautiful on the outside already. Of course you don't need makeup. And I'm pretty sure this is what sent her over.